This is Cordelia, you reporting for SCAT TV, and we are here in Los Angeles at the world famous Laugh Factory. And we are here today with the manager, Lonnie Crooks. Um, so we're going to have fun. You guys know the premise of my show. So we're just going to start with like the facts. And um, you know, this is a very historic place. Um, it was founded by Jamie Masada in 1979, and all the, the best have come through here like Richard Pryor, Seinfeld, Chris Rock. Um, and most recently, Tiffany Haddish. So basically, this is a historical landmark for comedians. So I want to know, how did you get started here, and how long have you been managing? So I'm actually um, the producer of Chocolate Sunday specifically. Um, we're a show here every Sunday night at the Laugh Factory, and um, I've been involved with the show for about, I think, 12 or 13 years. I started in college as an intern. Um, off and on for a while, but I've been back officially really running the show for the past two years. Okay. So now, how does it feel to be a female producer in this very high testosterone-driven field? Because I work with a lot of hip-hop artists. Y'all know the rappers love me. Erica Badu, what's up? We need to find out why all these rappers like got this thing for us. Is, the, is it the poet thing? Is it the artist thing? Is it the earthy thing? I don't know, but rappers, holla back. But <laughs> I'm always in testosterone-filled rooms, and you have to be so super like, like, okay, let's get this done. I don't have time for you to hit on me. Sometimes I like to get on, whatever. But you know what I mean. So how does it, how do you keep, how do you keep everybody in check? You know, that's interesting you say that. I feel like my entire life I've kind of chased male-dominated industries. I was in the golf industry for a long time, um, and I always played sports, and I was always around men. So, um, it, yeah, it's it's funny. It's like you have to be this strong, um, opinionated, like, woman, but then you're also seen as a bitch when you act like that, too. So it's... But, um, I mean, I've been pretty lucky. I work with some really great people. Um, I think they know enough or they've been around me enough to know what I tolerate and what I don't. Um, so I think I have a pretty good working relationship with most of the comedians. Okay. So we have a limited amount of time here because uh, this is uh, Chocolate Sunday. Shout out to Chocolate Sundays here in L.A. at the, at the uh, Laugh Factory. <laughs> I know where we are. Oh, I'm sitting right here with her. I'm not a hologram, okay, whatever. Sometimes I get overwhelmed. This is like huge, this is a huge deal. So for me to have this interview right now, I'm like, oh my God, where are we? Oh, 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 you know? Okay, so you guys know the premise of my show. I'm, um, I'm not a serious person. I'm not gonna ask you how to change the world and all that other crap, because this is not what we do, right? People need a break. So people want to know fun things. Okay. So I'm going to hit you with one of my fun questions. You ready? Sure, I hope. <laughs> all right. When you were a kid, okay, what superhero did you want to be and why? Oh, you know, I don't know. I feel like I've been asked this question before, and I don't know if I really had one i wasn't into all that really no i didn't I do normal kid stuff like superheroes and barbies you know what i did was watch bt music videos and i wanted to run bt as a kid this is my next question all right so and you know and i don't remember the woman that ran bt for so long deborah, deborah um, um, oh my good that was my superhero though. Reference the Boondocks, <laughs> but I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm sorry. I was gonna they, they, just say it was Deborah. I was gonna. Yeah, she make was a my superhero. Boondock <laughs> reference, but I don't know if you watch the Boondocks, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Um, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So, what? Okay, when you're with your family in the back backyard and you're just hanging out, right, with your Converse and your cutoffs and stuff, what? is your, you know what I'm gonna ask her, favorite backyard barbecue song, go. Are there old people there? Like, does it have to be, well, I need to know if I can be inappropriate or not. You want, do whatever you want. 
Um, okay, currently, right now, a current song, I probably play like Stir Fry by the Migos because it's like fun and lighthearted. Um, a little older, probably like a Pharrell song. He has good like backyard, maybe like Frontin' by Pharrell. Okay. All right. Cool backyard vibe. All right, so I'm going to hit you with the last one. Okay. Last question. Okay. What? This is my new favorite question because this this gets everybody. What is your favorite episode of Good Times? Go. Oh, my God. Good time, any time you need a payment. You're going to kill me. (laughs) Don't say you don't know any episode. I don't. Okay. I think you, I just missed good times. I grew up like Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Family Matters. I don't really watch a lot of stuff. Okay, okay another one, another one. I'm going to let you off the hook. Okay. What is your favorite episode of A Different World? No. <laughs> oh my God! Okay. Okay, wait. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get something. Okay, what is a show? Okay, what's a show that's hot right now? Um, okay, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch it up. If you could be a time traveler, right? Okay. A time traveler in any period of time. What period would it be, and why would you like that period in time? Would it be for the fashion? Would it be for the music? Would it be for the food? Like, what period in time would you go back to? I don't do periods of time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would go back to the 90s. Okay. That's when I grew up. And 90s the fashion was, yes, yes, music was so good then. All yes. the R&B was good. Yes. R&B was still about love back yes. then. Like 112, Genuine, all of them were yes. what I grew up on. So probably the 90s. All right. I'm going to agree with the 90s. Shout out to Buster Rhymes. I've been playing a lot of leaders of the new school lately. I do not know why. I guess it's like, I just put on this other, the, the, just another case of the battle, PTA, whatever it is. But um, I love Buster. I love the 90s. I was just talking about that the other day. Like, if you missed the 90s, like, you missed, like, real hip hop. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your, who's your favorite hip hop artist? I mean, it has to be Tupac. I'm on the West Coast. Sorry, East Coast. I'm from the East Coast. I love you guys. Hip hop is hip hop. Hip hop's universal. It's not like whatever. Stop being so serious about stuff. But like, if you missed the '90s hip hop, like you missed a great time. You know but, what my um, favorite ooh. was though. Until lately, he's a little crazy. But Lil Wayne was my favorite growing up. Mm-hmm. His dedication mixtapes with DJ Drama are like all of my favorite. Oh, he was with the Hot Boys. Yes, yes, all of that. Yes. That whole era. Yes. Yeah. So you know, but um. Yeah, thanks for answering my questions. See, I should have asked you more hip-hop questions, because now I can see she's a hip-hop head. Lonnie's a hip-hop head. And comedy. No, com- and comedy. And comedy. And comedy. Obviously. And comedy. But I know you have to get going. I know you, you're a busy lady, but I'm thankful. I'm very thankful you came. You gave me y- your time, because I know you're a busy lady for my little television show. But shout out to Scat TV. Hey, can you just... going to be legendary. Yes! You're on TV. Oprah. Thank you. Okay. Shout out to Oprah. <laughs> Old network. You need someone like me in your life. But anyways, Lonnie, yes. can you look into the camera yes. and say shout out to Scat TV? Shout out to Scat TV. <laughs> um, yes. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to enjoy some great comedy. Um, we might be interviewing uh, one of the performers, um, but she's going to be on stage. Um, so maybe right in five minutes. So um I'm, I'm going to get to her if we have time. Thanks for tuning in. And, again, thanks for another um, voyage um, to L.A. Um, with Cadelia's Passion and Scott TV. Thank you and good night. Hi, this is another edition of SCAT TV. I'm Cordelia Moore, your host. We're here at the Legendary Laugh Factory here in L.A. And I am like bugging out right now because I got two legendary comedians that used to uh, host Comic View on BET and I used to like watch it when you was young when I was young you know me I got Benjamin but uh, yeah. but you guys know I got like that throwback stuff and I'm a hip-hop head and I'm a TV head and all that stuff so I'm gonna start out with you because I found you first so now what's your name tell them how you got started and what made you want to get into comedy Well, my name is Franz Cassius, and I started at the local uh, 
Amateur Nights all over New York. New York, so to you. And um, what made me want to start getting into comedy, well, actually, I, first and foremost, I thought I was funny. I made people laugh since I was a kid. I made adults laugh. And then on top of that, uh, as I got older, I started to kind of research comedy indirectly. I used to go over a friend of mine's house who used to play his father's Richard Pryor albums. And boy, that's when I knew. Now, what part of New York are you from? Uh, born in Manhattan, raised in Brooklyn and Long Island, New York. Okay, okay. Yo, my name is Shang. I'm a comedian and a, a assassin. Okay, oh, he's not. Anyway, yeah. so now how did you get started on BET? On BET, uh, they saw me at a nightclub. Uh, they saw me at a club called um, Nails. They saw me at a place Nails. Nails. Yeah. yeah. They saw me at Nails. I went up. It was Donnell Rollins and then me. I had a good set. And they're like, hey, you do good on the show. I was like, you goddamn right. Uh -huh. And so I did the show. I did good. Okay, so now, so you're from New York? Yeah. Okay, so what part we used to do like little bars. Yeah, all uh, like we all, we all, we would do bars where it was like the stage was big as a graham cracker. I'm not. Yeah, it'd be it's stuck in the stage. corner. We go to that, then get in another place and get another place. But no, I was I came up there and then I moved out here. We both yeah, we moved out here, and uh, I've been doing stand up for a long time. I'm doing I'm doing blessed to do well. I'm doing well, and uh, if you get a chance, go to my Instagram. Stop playing, comedian S H A N G. All right. The website, IamShang.com. You can see my new special, Shangri. Make sure you watch it. Stop playing. Now, which, now how can we find you on Instagram? Uh, you can on find me on Instagram, at Franz Cassius. That's F-R-A-N-T-Z. Last name, Cassius. C-A-S-S-E-U-S. -S -S now, ready for my fun questions? Yeah. Real quick. When you're in, with your family and you're chilling in the backyard, okay? Yeah. Just really chilling just with your grandma, y'all. Right. What... Is your favorite backyard barbecue song go? My favorite back uh, backyard barbecue song is um, Method Man. It'd be Method Man, like you, uh, let me see. It'd either be Method Man. Well, you know I'm gonna change that up. Okay. My bad. It would be uh, Black Star, Most Deaf, okay. Talib Kweli. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Lord so, what is your favorite episode of Good Times Go? I didn't like good times. So what's your favorite episode of A Different World? Uh, the one when they introduced Sinbad, when Sinbad first was introduced. And the one, also the one when they, uh, when they were breaking up and uh, they were going to break up and then they got back together at the end of it. When, All right. when, uh, what's the one sister? Uh, Jasmine Guy and Kadeem Hardison, they were on the verge of breaking up and then they got back together. That was the one I was like. Yeah, that was one I liked. All right. See, I knew that one. You know that Different way. world, I know. I was like, he's getting too serious. I nah, that wasn't serious. I don't want to hold be on, a, hold on. I'm not getting I'm serious. <laughs> nah, nah. Good Times was on some fantastic coon cage. Yep. You know what I mean? They all was right. all, like, I didn't like that. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? What's wrong with that? No, like, that's a, that you is have wrong. A, like, you, have a, you make you me cry. <laughs> don't cry. Okay, I won't cry. Stay woke. But all right, well, thank you for coming on my thank show. I'm really humble. I'm not really, yeah, I am. I'm really humble. And, um... Not on stage. Thank Don't you. Play Stop playing. All right. I'm so thank humorous. you. Thank you for being on my show, Cadillus Passion. And shout out yeah. to Scat TV in Boston. And thank you, Scat TV. Thank you for coming on. Yep. And peace. I'm going to be back in Boston. Stop playing. <laughs>